Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. It's J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, coming to you from Huntington Beach, Sunset Beach, California, in beautiful, world-famous Huntington Beach, Surf City. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> good morning. Oh, it's morning here. It's 9.06. Um, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, the Most High Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the one that was born of a virgin, the only Son of God, the only begotten Son of God. What does begotten mean, people? That means He was born of, begotten, He was born of God. He wasn't born of flesh. He wasn't born of sperm. No, no, no. Born of God. The only begotten. The only son of God. That's why he's different. Don't let black Hebrew niggerites tell you anything about Joseph. If you, if you fall for that, you're falling for an okie doke that even a 10-year-old child could figure out. You got to be really stupid to believe that. You got to be really, really ignorant. Of, of the truth of the Bible. 100% truth. We got 100% truth. My little birdie friend. Anyhow. And the Holy Spirit. Oh shit. Here I go. Sorry. Oh. Alright. So. We were talking about the book of. I just got done breaking down the book of Jonah for you to the best of my ability. There's a lot, there's a lot there. There's things in Jonah that are not understood. And we looked at those. Part of that was the, the journey to, to Nineveh that took three days and three days journey. It means something, but the Bible didn't know and neither do I. So there's a lot of things in the Bible, hundred percent truth. According to the Bible, fuck you, Gabar, you dumb fucker. Slock you. <laughs> what a, what a nice preacher <laughs> calling people names, calling them assholes. That's what I do. It's the sign of the prophet. Not, not a very happy guy a lot of the time. So there you go. That's just how it is. Let's go into sins against the Holy spirit. <laughs> that's where I'm at. We were, we're in Matthew. I was I was at that um, place where it talks about Jonah in Nineveh. Um, and then we'll go down to the bottom. We'll talk about the sins against the Holy Spirit. The sign of the prophet, um, Matthew 12, 38. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, so before that, it says, by your words, you shall be justified, and by your words, you shall be condemned. So, I'm going to have um, a lot to answer for, for some of the mean things I said about these guys, when I should have been saying, saying it a little nicer, but um, I can't do the job unless I do it the way I do it, and we'll see how that all works out in the end. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. What's the day of judgment? It's when you die, you go back in the spirit world. You get judged and you get sent back down here to fucking play out your judgment. It's not only one time. It's pointed once for a man to die. Only once for a man to die. Yeah, and then the judgment. A man, the flesh dies once. This dude, this JD Nyjah, Jeff Deloach, is only going to die once, but the spirit's going to live forever. Do you understand? <laughs> Woo! On um, the sign of the prophet. Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Master, 
we would see a sign from thee? But he answered and said unto them, An evil and idol adulterous, adulterous, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah. <laughs> I knew I was <laughs> I knew sooner or later I was gonna have to do this. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whales, this is this is some deep This is deep stuff. This is hard to understand stuff. Um for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's be belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah and behold, a greater than Jonah is here. What's that saying? Being that we just read Jonah, what? <laughs> I, I had a feeling I was going to have to do this. I was like, damn, Lord. You put, you put me up to this stuff. I guess I have to do it. All right, here we go. Um, the queen of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, a greater than Solomon is here. So we know Solomon. Who's the queen of the south? Sheba, Queen of Sheba. She came up from Ethiopia, if I'm not mistaken. She was the Queen of Ethiopia. So she's going to be here with the men of Nineveh in the last days because she came from the ends of the earth. She came. She came from Nephilimville. She came from fallen angel land. She came from beyond all belief. To go see my brother Solomon, our Lord Jesus Christ, our brother Jesus. He went, she went from the ends of the earth. She came from Never Never Land. She came from Nephilim Land. She came from Fallen Angelville to check out Solomon and find out the splendor of our Lord Jesus Christ in his earthly kingly form. So when it says the sign will be the sign of Jonah, just as Jonah was three days in the belly of the whale, the Lord will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Three thousand years. His spirit is everywhere. His spirit is in the earth. The spirit of Solomon is all in the earth. The spirit of the Lord is sitting verily, verily, right before your very eyes. In the form of the son of David, Adonijah. Verily, verily. It's the only sign you're going to get, people. Is the sign of the Holy Spirit. And either you recognize what it is, who it is. It's not a woman, Big Judah. The Holy Spirit's not a woman, you dumb fucking Negro. Another dumb man, I don't... I don't understand, man. What's the deal with the, the Negro deception out here? So the Holy Spirit's not a woman. It's it's the spirit of Solomon. That's what he's saying. Even a greater than Jonah is here. Even a greater than Solomon is here. What's, what makes it greater? It's a spirit that's everywhere. It's not just It's not just me saying it to you. Hello, Adonijah, knock, knock. Lights are on. Anybody home? Come on, sir. Um, 
Um, when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking a place. Then said the Lord, I will return unto the house from whence I came, and when he has come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. That's us coming back. Judgment, judgment, judgment. We keep coming back. What's it mean? He finds a place that's swept clean. Every time we come back, it gets harder. Because we don't, we're, we're getting further, further away from the our own knowledge of the Bible. We don't even believe that we've been here before. We don't even believe that the God of this world is in us. We don't even believe that Joseph isn't the father of our Savior. We don't even believe that Solomon was here as Jesus and Josiah and. Adam and whoever else he was, Joseph. We don't know it. We don't believe it. There's no sign. Where The only sign you're going to get is the prophet Jonah who knows who he is. Why did he want to die? Because he knew dying was better than being here. Come on, sir. See, it's impossible to it's impossible to give spiritual things to um, unspiritual people. The only thing you can do is believe me. I can't I can't make you believe me. I can't. No matter how many videos I do, no matter how many times I say it, um, it it's got to be within your own spirit to get it. So let's go back to, do you understand what I'm saying? I hope so. You've got to believe in your own spirit being regenerated and knowing that there's not a whole lot you can do here to change your, your trajectory except gain knowledge of who, who this Solomon is. It's Jesus Christ. He's here. He's right here here and he's right there and if you believe that that's how you get saved he is in you he is in you the holy spirit and if you believe that fucking joseph is the father of jesus then you don't know your left foot from the fucking your right hand and you're going to have a problem so don't listen to Barakatha Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai bullshit, or you're going to get fucking trashed. You're going to get crushed. Spiritual life lessons? Man, you wicked niggas, man. You're just as bad as GMS. You're just as bad as IUIC. You play that. There's a play for every dumb nigga out there. These guys have a play for everyone. GOCC, they all just. They all just have a little bit different lie going on. But behind it all is wickedness. It's fucking wrong. So let's get sins against the Holy Spirit. And that'll complete the teaching on Jonah the prophet. Who saved the Gentiles, the Assyrians. What's it say? The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. Because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. What? How did they repent, people? They listened to the prophet. One more time, brothers and sisters. Why was none of us saved? They repented at the voice of the prophet. All sin is serious, and to some degree, we're talking about sins against the Holy Spirit, and to some degree challenges and attacks the character and authority of God. All sin is serious, and to some de degree challenges and attacks the character and authority of God. 
That's what sin is. Tony Baloney, you're attacking the character and authority of God with your nonsense fucking teachings. It's not doing works. It's not repenting and, and, get, and not going to the bar and not doing whatever you do. No. It's about God, you fucking nincompoop. But six sins are especially identified as sins against the Holy Spirit. Since the Holy Spirit is a person, he may be sinned against. Big Judah, he, you dumb, these fucking Jakes, man. Jake, Jake ass, jackass. He may be sinned against. He, since he is also God, he, Big Judah, you dumb. I don't know how I find all these fucking nincompoops, but I find them. Since he is also God, it is an extremely serious matter to be guilty of sinning against him. These six sins are blasphemy. That's that's saying Joseph is the father of Jesus. That's blasphemy. Saying the Gentiles can't be saved. Blasphemy. Um, that um, not everyone can have can get can understand God. Blasphemy. That, those are blasphemy. Um, lying or tempting, despising, that's um, that's despising God. That's that's not these are sinning against the Holy Spirit. You despise the Holy Spirit by um, teaching rapture. You're you're not giving the spirit its due. You're saying, well, we're gonna get we're gonna get taken out of here because we believe. You don't know shit, Tony Baloney. You believe what? That's that's despising. Resisting or striving with. These guys have, are doing all that. Resisting. Resisting the truth. Or striving with. Mixing it up. Mixing it up, half truth, half lies, striving, saying the same wicked shit over and over and not going, yeah, yeah, there's no way Joseph and God could both be the father of Jesus, it can't be. How could corruption make incorruption? It doesn't take, it doesn't take a second to sit back and go, how can, how can, a, how can the Lord have two, two dads? You're either of the flesh or you're of the spirit. And that's striving. They, they're striving against the Holy Spirit. That's why they're so fucking wicked. Vexing or grieving and quenching. It's all about the spirit, people. It's not about the, the sins against the Holy Spirit or against everything that I try and bring you. I try and give you the Bible in a spiritual context. Not a not a carnal context, not a fleshy context. I I do point out where the where the spiritual manifests in the flesh, like when a woman needs to be corrected. That's an example of where the spirit is brought into the flesh. These are things that can't be denied, and we have to walk out. These are these are the works. You got to walk out your faith and show. I believe that a woman is supposed to be under me because that's what the Bible says. So do I walk that out? Is it easy here? No, it's not. And is it? Does that make me look like a, a mean spirited jackass to the to all the, you women that are think that you're all fucking that? Yeah, it does. But you know what? That's your problem, not mine. That's what that's what this is talking about. If you're denying that, if a woman is de denying that she needs to be under a man of God, she's denying the Holy Spirit because the book the book is the Holy Spirit, and that's a judgment that women are going to have to fucking they're going to take it right upside the head. A lot of them, over and over again, because they think that they can just do whatever they want, say whatever they want. And, and Esau Edom's going to help them. Fuck you. 
Um, because of the severity which Jesus describes blasphemy against Holy Spirit, some people unnecessarily fear that they may have committed the unpardonable sin. One of the characteristics of such sin is that the Holy Spirit ceases to convict of sin in one's life. So the fact that someone may be concerned about a particular sin indicate, indicates he is not beyond grace. He should immediately repent of that sin to restore fellowship with God. The keys to not sinning against the Holy Spirit are to, one, be led by the Spirit, filled with the Spirit, illuminated by the Spirit. And if you if if you if you're not illuminated, let me see what I got. If you're not illuminated, filled with that's what that's what it's saying about Jonah. He he told him, "You guys better get off your fucking high horse, get off the throne, listen to your king, get in ashes and sackcloth, humble yourselves, pray to God day and night for forty days. Know that there's a God that's gonna fuck you up if you don't get with Him." That's that's all the Bible's about. He wants you to get with him. This 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 talk talk of carnal repentance. No, it's about being led by the Spirit, filled with the Spirit, and illuminated by the Spirit. Are you are you walking in a spiritual way that says I know my God has a plan for me. I know he's going to do this for me. I know he's going to do that for me. I don't need to worry about these, this carnal shit. I need, if I'm walking in the spirit, filled with the spirit, the men of Nineveh are going to come con condemn this place because people aren't listening to the prophet. People aren't listening. I can't wait for the Queen of Sheba to, and these men of Nineveh to show up. Gentiles. Gabar, Gentiles. What's it say? The men of Net, the men of Nineveh weren't no fucking Hebrews in a Gentile state of mind. You jackasses, you fucking lying pieces of shit. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Feel the pain, go through the pain, watch the gourd come up, watch the gourd co go down. And it's going to, and before I know it, this shit's going to be over. And I get to get the fuck out of this nightmare. But until that time, I'm, I'm here to tell you what it is. And it is what it is. Fuck, I hope I... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do, do this one. Could you guys hear anything? Could you, could you, man, I'm going to have to listen and see if I, um, fuck, I'm, I hope I didn't fuck it up by, um, letting that play. Because that was a good message and I don't want to have to do it again, damn it. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna listen and see if um if I can download that, and then I'm gonna take a walk. I'm fucking hot and tired. All right. Hope you guys got the message. Subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, new subscribers, old subscribers. I'm out. Mm.